eighth sex abuse scandal rocking the Catholic Church. And using church money to buy a multi-million dollar property in London. A massive financial scam. Vatican City, home to the Roman Catholic Church, is at the heart of numerous scandals and at the center of countless conspiracy theories. We know the state is rich, but how rich is it? And where does it get its money from? His nickname, Monsignor 500, because Scarano's wallet only carried 500 euro notes. The Vatican's wealth is estimated to be around 10 billion to 15 billion dollars by bankers. The Vatican has considerably large holdings in areas of banking, insurance, chemicals, steel, construction, and real estate. Dividends help pay for Vatican costs and charitable causes, such as supporting 1.5 million children and providing some food and clothes to 7 million impoverished Italians. Because the Vatican has disclosed relatively little information about its finances and assets throughout the ages, most people are unaware of how it produces money as a sovereign city-state with its own economy. The Vatican is located within the city of Rome and covers 110 acres with a population of less than 1,000 people, making it the world's smallest nation. While the Vatican is modest in size, it has tremendous financial influence because of its extensive investments in banking, real estate, and private industries. It is necessary to distinguish between Vatican City and the Holy See in order to comprehend the complicated economics of the Vatican. The nation's ruling body is the Holy See. In most circumstances, if you signed a contract with the territory, it would be with the Holy See. The actual location of the Holy See is known as Vatican City. The Holy See earns money through Peter's Pence, a word from the 8th century for gifts received from Catholics all around the world. The Holy See receives gifts from people to dioceses via a separate department. The Holy See also earns money via interest on its reserves and investments in them. According to a new survey, as low as 10% of donations made by Roman Catholics that are particularly touted as aiding the impoverished and suffering really go toward charity activity. According to the Wall Street Journal, which cited people familiar with the expenditure, around two-thirds of the remaining $55 million in donations for Pope Francis's yearly charity appeal, known as Peter's Pence, are used to balance the Vatican's administrative budget gap. According to the journal, which cited sources acquainted with the fund's utilization, the assets of Peter's Pence have decreased from more than $775 million to $665 million since Francis became Pope in 2013. Another source of revenue is the canonization of priests. Make no mistake, getting a priest canonized is not cheap. The Our Lady of Victory National Shrine and Basilica in Lackawanna, New York, has contributed more than $250,000 in an endeavor to canonize its former priest, Father Nelson Baker. The cost of canonization varies substantially based on the duration of the procedure and the precise proof required to indicate that a candidate is suitable for sainthood. The funds cover the publication of Baker-related materials, prayer cards, correspondence between the Church and the Vatican, travel expenditures to and from Rome, as well as the fees associated with hiring a canon lawyer. Historically, the Holy See invested mostly in Italian sectors, dividing its portfolio over stocks and bonds, and holding less than a 6% ownership in enterprises. It is invested cautiously, preferring to purchase and hold proven firms in solid industries. As a result, investments in the developing world have been restricted. Recent investments, on the other hand, have been increasingly international, mainly in Western European currencies and bonds, with some activity on the New York Stock Exchange. The Holy See also has real estate holdings all throughout the world, mainly in land and churches. The Holy See, on the other hand, will not make certain investments. It will not, for example, invest in firms that violate church beliefs, such as pharmaceutical companies that produce birth control. In this regard, the Holy See's investment plan is comparable to that of others who use a faith-based investing strategy. The Holy See reportedly paid its 2,880 employees a total of 126.6 million euros last year. The Holy See has been running a deficit for many years. According to the Los Angeles Times, the Holy See experienced an $18.4 million shortfall in 2012. Officials cited the weak European economy and the cost of paying its 2,832 employees 
as well as preaching the Catholic religion through its many media outlets for the company's demise. In September 2019, German Cardinal Reinhard Max, who heads the Vatican's Economic Council, said that Pope Francis had directed him to cut expenditures in order to eradicate a deficit estimated to be over 70 million euros. In contrast to the Holy See, Vatican City derives its wealth from more typical stately undertakings. With a workforce of roughly 4,800 people, the city relies on a few minor companies to produce revenue. Each year, millions of visitors and religious pilgrims visit the city, as well as the Sistine Chapel, St. Peter's Basilica, and the Vatican Museums. The city earns money via museum admissions, tours, highly sought-after stamps and coins, and the sale of books. While the Vatican does not publish how much money it earns from these activities each year, the Central Intelligence Agency's, or CIA, World Factbook estimates the city had earnings of $315 million, with expenditures adding up to $348 million in 2013. The Vatican Museums had a surplus of 63.5 million euros in 2014, nearly twice what it was the previous year. The city has also, on occasion, rented out the Sistine Chapel, where in 2014, the venue was rented out to automaking giant Porsche and 40 fans that attended the event paying $5,900 to attend a gala under Michelangelo's famously painted ceiling. The Vatican still holds that the chapel is not available for renting. The Vatican seems to be raking in huge profits from every area of its operations. To add to that, since Pope Francis took over for Pope Benedict in March of 2013, tourism has virtually quadrupled. Over 12 million people have come to see Pope Francis during events at the Vatican. And it doesn't even take into account the attendance at Pope Francis's engagements outside of the Vatican, which adds another approximately 13 million visitors. The Vatican Bank's position is possibly the most contentious and little understood aspect of the Vatican's finances. The Vatican Bank, also known as the Institute for the Works of Religion, is a private bank based in Vatican City that was formed in 1942 by Pope Pius XII. The bank has been at the heart of various controversies and charges of mismanagement, money laundering, and fraud throughout the years. The Vatican Bank said in February 2018 that it was accusing its former bank president and his lawyer was stealing 50 million euros through fraudulent real estate and money laundering operations. The bank's assets, which were valued at over $5.6 billion at the end of 2018, were made up of investments and deposits from around 15,000 account holders. Catholic clergy, Vatican personnel, and Catholic religious groups from throughout the world were among the account holders.